In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the moldings around your windows. Okay, so for my window on my back wall, I'm going to make my molding an eighth. So I'm gonna put a little dot, an eighth all the way around, okay? And if you don't know what molding is, it's the wooden frame around windows and doors. Actually, I don't think they're made out of wood anymore. I think they're made out of something different, but back in the day, they used to be made out of wood. Okay, so it's like a picture frame almost around the window. Okay, again, I'm, I'm drawing this a little bit darker than I normally would, just so that you can see it on camera. If your T-square is dirty, please wipe it off. This one is dirty. And it's making smudges on my paper. So this is what the molding would look like in the back. If you wanna split this up, okay? If you wanna make it like a bay window or you just wanna split it into three, you always have to, okay? So for this, you would have to draw an X and that'll show you where the center is. And that's the same thing with the windows on the right. So if I wanted to put some sort of detail on my window, this is how I would split it up. Okay. So now I'm gonna come over to this window since this was an eighth, this is closer to us, so it's going to be a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna make it three sixteenths. One, two, three. Okay. Then over here, I'm gonna measure one, two, three. Okay, and down here, one, two, three. You have to make sure you're measuring it here because this is the same distance. You can't measure three over here. It's going to get larger. So now I'm drawing this as a vertical. Oops. Okay, this gets lined up with the vanishing point. Okay, then I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing. Vanishing point, there's my mark from my 3 16ths. Now what you're doing is you're measuring this, okay? I wanna measure how wide it got because that's how wide it's going to be over here. So I'm measuring, that's about a quarter, okay? It's actually spot on a quarter. One, two, three, four, four sixteenths is one quarter. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna measure one quarter. that. Now, if I wanted to do the same thing as I did with this window, you have to draw the X. So I'm going from corner to corner. I'm going to draw this way darker than I ever would because I want you to see what I'm talking about. Here's the middle. The reason you have to do that is because when I actually split this in half, okay, which again, I would never draw this as dark as I am. See how this is larger? This portion is larger because it is closer to the viewer, okay? That's the whole point of perspective. As things are getting close to us, they're getting larger. As they get further away, they appear smaller. So this would be, I also wanna make sure that it's bigger than this one. This is a quarter. So we're gonna make this one, two, we'll do. Here. Okay, all this middle stuff gets erased. If I drew that lightly, it wouldn't be so messy right now. 
And then also with that X, it shows me where everything is horizontally as well. So if I wanted to split these windows up this way, I'm still using that X that I just erased. So that X is showing me that this way it would be, this would be it split in half. So if I wanted to put like a little shade here, or if I just wanted to make that the detail of the window, Okay, if I wanted to get really detailed, I could put like the little uh, the lock on the window here. I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing, okay? Ooh. I'm marking a measurement, 3 16 one, two, three. The reason why I'm doing 3 16 on this one is because I did an eighth over here. You do not have to specifically use my measurements. If you would like yours larger or smaller, you can, but please make sure it makes sense where the ones that are further away appear smaller. Okay, so this is an eighth. I'm sorry, this is three sixteenths. One, two, three. One, two, three, put a mark. Okay, line the mark up with the vanishing point and draw your line. Same thing here. Vanishing point, mark, draw the line. This needs to get closed. Then I'm going to measure how wide it got. Okay, this one actually got bigger than an eighth. This one got bigger than this one. One, two, three, four, five. So it's five sixteenths. So over here, I'm gonna measure five sixteenths. Okay, and I would do the same thing here. If I want to break this in half, you have to draw the X. Draw the X. So now this is showing me where halfway is. So this is halfway horizontally. And when I say horizontally, I mean if I was looking at it head on. So I'm saying horizontally, but I'm actually using the convergence line. So this would be that line, and this would be it's split in half vertically. And once again, this is larger because it is closer to us and this half is smaller because it is further away from us. To do the molding on the, the base molding on the floor, okay? In the classroom, we have like this weird black plastic molding. At your house, you probably have a white molding on the, the bottom here. I'm gonna measure, you could use again, whatever measurement you want, but base molding is uh, usually thicker then the window molding. So I'm gonna use a quarter of an inch. Okay, I'm gonna draw a horizontal line for the back. Okay, and then I'm taking my T-square and I'm gonna take this vanishing point to this mark and continue my line for my base molding. And do the same thing for my base molding on the left side.